Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? My name is Arthur Galestian here in collaboration with Peermind in San Francisco, leading up to our workshop next week called Producing on the Road with Ableton Live. want to go through some of the most common questions, uh, and I'm going to pick one and just address that one, which is, what do you do when you're traveling and you don't want to carry around a really bulky audio interface? As you guys know, a lot of the best audio interfaces are pretty bulky, and while they have a lot of utility and offer a lot of great options, a lot of inputs and outputs, um, many times they're not really needed when you're traveling. So you really got to look at your own needs first. For example, this Motu Traveler here, which is what I've been using for most of my studio life, and I absolutely love it to pieces. I think it's a great piece of gear. It gives you a lot of preamps here to plug in uh, microphones, um, guitars, and other line instruments. You have your headphone jack right here to plug in uh, a couple different parameters here to control different um, you know options and configurations for the for the audio interface. And you have this digital readout here, which shows you how hot your levels are, which is nice and convenient. And then uh, over here in the back, you have uh, some more inputs and outputs. You can plug in all these different uh, connections. You can plug it into multiple studio monitors if you like to. You have more XLR mic inputs here, instrument inputs. Uh, so it's very versatile, really, really heavy duty. Uh, the audio converters on it sound great. And like I said, I love it. Um, but when you're traveling, you want to try and save as much weight and as much space as possible because, um, you know, it adds up when you're traveling, even though it doesn't seem like it's a big deal to stuff something like this in your backpack if it fits. Um, you know, over time as you're, you know, moving from place to place to place and constantly having to make extra room for something that's unnecessary, then it's just going to weigh you down. So... I went through a couple different options when I was first uh, deciding what I want to replace my Motu with. And after a lot of research, trial and error, uh, trying different products, uh, I full force went forward with this guy here, which is the AudioQuest Dragonfly. Absolutely love this guy. Um, it's a great piece of gear, really, really small, super high quality converters, uh, and it's the size of a USB stick. So I did a little product comparison here. Here's my Motu Traveler, and right next to it I have this AudioQuest Dragonfly, and you can see how much more space it saves you. It weighs tons less. You can grab this and just stick it in your pocket. You can fit into a tiny pocket in your backpack. You can throw it into your headphone case, um, and it's really, really amazing. So obviously you're going to be sacrificing, you know, all these inputs, the preamps, um, you know, all the extras, the little digital readout and all this. But as an electronic music producer, you really don't need all that. Um, if you do find yourself in need of, uh, you know, recording somebody playing a guitar or some some vocals, you can always ask them to record and send it to you. Um, you can also use a portable recorder like the Zoom H4n to record instruments. Uh, you can plug that in directly to your laptop as a uh, as an audio interface, which is great. So. Uh, the AudioQuest Dragonfly comes in two different options. I have been using this black one for a few years, and, uh, and it's been working great. Um, later on, AudioQuest released this uh, red one, uh, which has a higher output um, as far as voltage goes. So if your headphones are much more demanding, then you might want to look into this one. But the, the AudioQuest Dragonfly black has been more than enough for me. I love it. I recommend it fully. And um, it's worth checking out. So that's it. Really quick, short video. If you like the information I've been given out, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe over at the channel for the folks at Peermind. We're going to be doing a workshop together called Producing on the Road with Ableton Live. It's going to be fun, and I look forward to answering more of your questions there. Questions or comments, feel free to shoot them over to Arthur at ArthurG.com. Otherwise, until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. My name's Arthur Galestian. See ya.